sponsored by your Oklahoma Ford dealers. What's going on, everybody? Welcome into sports in a matchup of similar teams, both coming off big wins against ranked opponents last weekend. The Cowboys prevailed in Stillwater against those TCU Horn Frogs. Without Tylen Wallace, who was lost for the season due to an ACL injury, Dylan Stoner, he put in work. He had two TDs today. This was a big play defensively for OSU. Second quarter, they were up 10-0, but safety Kobe Harvey Peel intercepted Max Duggan, one of two INTs he had on the day, stepping up without Trey Sterling. Then we got to talk about Chuba Hubbard. He had two big touchdowns today. This is the 92-yarder, one of the top five longest runs in Cowboy history. He also had a 62-yard TD run shown here. Hubbard now eighth on the all-time OSU single season rushing list. He finished with 223 yards on the day. Caden McFarlane was there. What's up, my man? Jacob, an emotional week for this OSU Cowboys program capped off with an emotional win today against TCU. Mike Gundy saying he was as proud of this effort as he has been any in a very long time as Cowboys head coach. Forced to deal with the loss of an All-American receiver in Tylen Wallace. Maybe the best in the country, heart and soul of the team type of player. Not to mention three other starters that went down during midweek practice. This team could have gone in the tank. Instead, it served to focus them as they were playing this game to win for those teammates who had to watch from the sideline. Basically to us, that's our brother going down, and so we're going to do the best we can and play for him. So um, part of this win goes to him. I really wanted this game for the players. Um, going through what they went through in the middle of the week. Um, you know, we, we, we talked a lot about our culture and staying the course. You hate that those injuries happen. And um, like Coach Gunny said, we still have a game to play on Saturday. So we really just rallied together and uh, knew what we had to do to get the job done. You know, that's what we pride ourselves on. You know, no, no matter what happens in the week, we always have to step up and, you know, play play to win. So um, we talked about it. You know, obviously we were down, but um, you know, we're going to step up and win this for them. Jenks native Dylan Stoner certainly stepped forward, playing in Thailand's Z position. Touchdown catches of 50 and 22 yards, his first two scores of the season. You know, you always got to be ready to play, and uh, I hate that for Thailand. I mean, I would trade place with him in a heartbeat, really. Um, but, you know, I knew it was my opportunity, and I just watched his film as much as I could, try to learn as much as I could in a short amount of time. and. Um, was able to make a few plays today. Well, the ball he caught for the touchdown, we threw it in practice, and he ran in the end zone, and he laid out. That's why that kid's special. Nobody lays out on Thursdays. He does. He doesn't care. And that, that's the kind of young man you have, and that's why he plays the way he plays. Jacob Gundy wanted this win so badly, he admitted that at the end of the game, final couple minutes, he was trying to call defensive plays for the first time in his career. His Cowboys are now bowl eligible at 6-3. and three. Off next week, with former head coach Les Miles and the Kansas Jayhawks coming to town in two weeks. From here in Stillwater, Caden McFarlane, two works for you.